Imagine a great and powerful city set on a high hill. This city is surrounded by a deep-set stone fortress, and for decades no one has conquered it. Time and time again, great armies have come up against this citadel, but no one has been able to penetrate the thick fortress walls. Such a battle I have joined against the defensive mechanism that protects pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is a death sentence. Almost no one survives. In fact, most patients die within three to six months following diagnosis. And this has barely changed in the last three decades. I started my journey trying to understand why pancreatic cancer is so aggressive, so deadly. Well, when we look down the microscope, this is what we see. The tumor is surrounded by dense scar tissue, like a fortress protecting and supporting the tumor. Worse still is that within this fortress lie a group of helper cells that continuously feed the tumor with nutrients and growth factors. We now know that this cellular network is what makes pancreatic cancer so unique and so hard to combat. That is why for decades, pancreatic cancer has remained unconquered. We, however, have embarked on an ambitious strategy to conquer the pancreatic capital. We have designed a gene therapy nanodrug that, like a system of spies, can penetrate this fortress and reprogram the tumor cells, these green ones, converting the pro-tumor signal coming from the helper cells into a death signal. When we do this, it is like a civil war begins. The helper cells that were once feeding and supporting the tumor are converted into killer cells, and all of a sudden they start destroying the tumor. Following this, we then identified another drug already used in the clinic to activate this same death signal. When we combined this drug with our gene therapy nanodrug, we saw the tumor cells start to die really quickly. Importantly, we tracked down the precise mechanism by which this occurs. And this has totally changed the way we understand how cancer cells respond to these death signals. This revolutionary approach could signal the death knell to the scourge of pancreatic cancer. After decades in which fellow scientists have taken a battering ram to the disease's defences, the only weapon in their arsenal, perhaps, just perhaps, pancreatic cancer may become a treatable or dare I say, a curable disease.